JC, you've made Wonder Woman. Well, I'm a cap and safety. I'm a hero that believes in justice, truth, and protecting young people, and especially the children. If your kid is about to disable his child's safety block and watch porn, I will save him from that disgusting pornography stuff by gouging his eyes out with my thumbs. Protecting his poor young eyes from disgusting things of truth. If your kid gets a paper cut, I will stop the bleeding by cutting off the finger so he doesn't bleed anymore. And it bleeds more from the end of the finger. I'll cut off the hand. Then when that starts bleeding, I'll qualize the wound. If that doesn't work, I'm sorry. He was a gun already got a paper cut. Cut myself, Jerry! I'm a dead mame! Well, if you don't like Captain Safety, how about Wonder Man? Just like Wonder Woman, except for a sword, it's a katana. And a shield has an S on it for no reason, it's not linked to the other guy, no, it's it's new character. It's it's, it's cool. Red cape! Red cape. I have a black cape when we try the black cape on. You know, literally, black. I mean, I was gonna wear black, but you know, I thought, well, you know, I think the red goes better with the, uh, you know, the shield. I mean, if I had black, I mean, yes, the black would go better with the, the shirt, and the black would go better with the, the yes. But then the red would be kind of meaningless here, but you know, two items like just fine, leave me alone, it makes sense. Shield away! Swords, hold this guy. There we go, I'll leave that with you. And cape, you can stay on. You, you, yeah, I like this. Hey guys, I'm today we're doing Movie Explained spoiler review of Wonder Woman. Now, um, let's start straight off. That was a funny intro, let's be honest. Come on, look at this cape. I'm buff, by the way. If any ladies are single, I'm horny. Uh, listen, guys, uh, let's talk about Wonder Woman. There's a bit at the beginning, the new DC logo. And it shows the main DC characters of the DC. We see Flash, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman. Green Lantern. How Jordan Green Lantern, yeah. So clearly, I have a theory. This means that he's going to have a cameo of some sort in Just League. We get hints that Henry Cavill has been hinting Green Lantern, like tweeting about it and stuff. Is that because of the new intro? I doubt it. I think there's going to be either Avin Sir. My theory is Avin Sir is going to be inside of Just League. Another point. But we see the entire logo come out, and then we see all of the heroes. Movies aren't even announced. We see Shazam, yeah, we know Shazam. But then we see Hawkman, Hawk Girl. We see John Stewart, we see Mogo the Living Planet, all the Green Arrows, we see Sinestro, we see Darkseid, we see basically, we see Gre Green Arrow, yeah, we see Green Arrow, we see Red Arrow, we see Robin, we see Nightwing, I'm trying to identify a few of them. Doctor Fate was even there. How? Basically, the entire Green Arrow corps were there, Guy Gardner was there, and it's all kind of blurred, so you kind of have to like look very close and know the character specifically. And then there's even Kid Flash, there's another speedster, and I believe he's Kid Flash kind of in the corner. And then, like going further, there's like Black Canary. There's um, Aqua. Uh, there's um, there's Mera, Queen of Atlantis. There's, there's so many different characters going on. I'll probably just you know, I'll get an image up right now of showing all the names. Boom! This should be enough, I think. Okay, cool. Next bit. One in the actual film. Like, the film starts, and the world looks really different to what we've seen as before. Uh, man is still uh, outside the world. But we see man, see man above the world, looking at the world. Here, present day, by the way, it looks mythical, mystic. The clouds are all off. Looks like a fairy tale thing, but it's in present day. Clearly showing just for the feel of this film that it's mystic and magic. But that could be also changing the tones of the DCU, showing that we're going to go more mystic and magic. Setting up Shazam! That's my theory. This is showing up Shazam with the clouds and Olympus ideas. And also we see Olympus and Zeus and... No surprise to anyone, Wonder Woman is a god in this. Zeus basically defeated the god of war. And he's like, oh, I'm dying, okay, whoop, I made a child, she's basically a god. I die now, but I'm a god, why can't I save my own life, who knows? <sighs> she's god. And throughout the film we see her learn, like, basically, people get shot, and then shot and they die. They don't age, though. And Wonder Woman, she gets grazed, and she's got blood, and she heals instantly. But then, for the rest of the film, she's dodging all these bullets, yeah? But then, in the final axiom against the God of War, she's being smashed by buildings, rocks, everything. No scratches, so I was being on that bit of a plot, but no, it's not because basically, throughout the entire film, her god powers come through. She even fires at the end, and god damn it, please stop with the Christ imagery. She's like in the air going, Ooh. Stop with the Christ imagery, just stop it. It's really making me depressed. It's not, it's not right. It's, it's, it's not right. Please, yeah, just, just, yeah. 
Please stop with the Christ scene, which is not the only main villain in this film, and he gets killed by one of them. Yeah, he dies. And I feel like he might come back, and here's my theory behind that. Ares, whenever there's war and everything, he gets fed power, and war and corruption of man feeds him. So maybe there'll be a next movie in Wonder Woman you know, 2, World War 2, and he will, my theory at least, I think in one, if they do World War 2, Wonder Woman 2, he will come back, because obviously the corruption of man feeds him. They didn't go into it in this film, but they reference it a little bit, and I think that's going to happen. I think we've seen the end of Ares. I hope not, he's the main villain of Wonder Woman, he's fucking great. By the way, we had a massage in Typhon that I didn't like, should have got rid of that, why was that there? All God's dead, Ares kills all the gods, and then, you know, Zeus gets rid of Ares by causing to retreat. Yeah, Zeus didn't even kill him, just retreated him. Oof, and then Zeus died. It's a magic blur, apparently. <laughs> Chris Pine could have lived in this film. Basically, there's a gas bit at the end where basically this entire gas could kill everyone, because basically it destroys gas marks and his fan won't explode. So, Chris Pine in this film could have... He went in the plane, he shot Exus fan ball because he's in a hydrogen, boom, it explodes from inside. There were many other planes in this shot. He could have just got another plane, chased that plane up, waited till it was high enough, and shot it down. Exploded in air. He didn't have to, like, oh, Mason's Street or Warfare just got in there, you know, and he just shot it, and then he got parachuted out. There wouldn't be time for that. It's just, like, it's instant. Makes no sense. But if he did it on another plane, he could have lived. I literally saw three planes in that shot, and I was like... Come on. Come on. Oh, come on! Ares, is, Ares in this film isn't the generic Nazi guy. That's just the Nazi guy who's evil. And he gets these weird pills that give him CGI face. But that's basically a new form of steroids. Could possibly be linking to Deathstroke, maybe. Deathstroke in the film, in DCU. Maybe it could link to Mirakuru. Maybe that could be setting the seeds for Mirakuru. That's a theory. That's a theory right there. I think they're linked. I think that's not like a wasted thing. Maybe it could... Probably is a wasted thing, but it's just, it'd be nice if they did something like that. They just kind of... Because she lives, the like chemist, so she could, you know, connect it. And the British guy, the nice guy, he was a stupid dickhead, by the way. He basically was like, I could have killed you when I saw you, but I decided, no, to send you here and see how bad they are. Bit stupid, if you ask me. Basically, they're about to go on the mission without being, they got told not to go. They're going anyway. He gives them money to go and says, report back to me, whatever happens, you know. And he's hoping that one of them will see the corruption of man, and then she'll turn on man, and they can become, sight, you know, on the same team. I don't know why he did that, to be fair. Maybe he wants to keep an eye on them, maybe he wanted to the same thing. He could just kill her. It's a bit stupid, you know. If the one person didn't kill you, would you risk her being on your side? I mean, when I mean, you have the chance, take her out. I mean, but either way. No, that's not what they did. And it, it makes sense for him, but at the end scene when he died, it's like, come on. Ares, you just got your suit and armor and shit. Come on. Come on. One woman's silly man Bruce Wayne in this, basically. He sent a thing, the original picture saying, got the original picture for you. One day you'll tell me your story. Her reply via email. Thanks for bringing him back to me. Chris Pine, obviously. Forget the other members in the group. Bit sad. It's quite funny how, you know, one moment, Spider, who's from Trainspot, he's like, Woo, Fanny, you like Ting Body. Very funny. No, but this film's good. It does link a lot of things, though. I really hope they continue this theme. One Zone clearly flies now. They, they clearly show that in the end of Wonder Woman, in, 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 they clearly show that in the end of Wonder Woman, she has her full powers. She can fly, she's super strength, she's invulnerability. No, I don't know why she's defecting the bullets, because she got crushed by everything and didn't get scratched. I think the... And also, one scene which is kind of cool, we're looking at Spider-Man, so I'm like, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, we're gonna rip off whatever we can. Ah! Oh, meme! I'm a pumping machine. Another one! Great. Okay, but guys, uh, yeah, that's the theory. So there is some more stuff. I will, Actually, let's briefly go over the other stuff. With this film... Yeah, I feel like they're going to... Obviously, in this film, they do set up the Amazons, and they are going to have a little flashback fight scene inside of Justice League flashback. And we see the gods, we see Poseidon with his trident, and he looks a lot like Jason Momoa, they've kind of designed them very similar, that's, that's, that's a good point. I feel like the flashback scene, I feel like because of the little opening scene, we're going to have the Hawkman, Hawkgirls, the Hawks, there's a lot of, more than Hawkman, Hawkgirls, there's a lot of Hawks in that, like, beginning bit. Amazons, humans, maybe. And then Atlanteans. All in the beginning fight scene, you know, and then versing Dark Side's minions. But guys, this is my uh, breakdown video of the movie and what it means. Um, it's more been a review, but I did tell you some stuff that's important and some nerdy things. I told you foreshadowing, what it means for the future of the film. I told you that. 
I told you some new stuff that you haven't heard. I broke down the film and I told you some stuff happening. This wasn't an entire spoiler for you. Maybe I wasn't clickbaiting you. Okay, I was clickbaiting you. I was just like, you know what? The last one got a lot of views. I'm just going to make a clickbait thumbnail. Uh, and that. But then I realised, oh, but there's not really much to talk about here. Oh, no, I'll add some stuff that I saw from the film. Have that, have that at the beginning so it looks like I'm talking about breaking down the film. And then I'll just go full on into a spoiler movie review. Yeah, guys. I fooled you. Kind of. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you want to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also you don't want to comment to me in a bit of a, you know, intellectual conversation, or we talk about one woman have a good time. So if you want to comment to me in a bit of a left to conversation. Listen, if you think this movie is really good, please do that. It's nowhere near as good as Suicide Squad. But it's nowhere near as good as Suicide Squad and Bambi Suman. Those movies were so funny that one joke Bambi Suman made me piss my pants in that math moment. Ha! Oh, genius writing. Uh. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said in my last video, my grade, find everyone know I thought the film, the grade is in the spoiler movie. Spoiler free. The grade is in the other movie of uh, Underwear Man, check it out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to like, share, comment, subscribe, I'll see you later. Oh no! Oh, I feel real. Was it the force? No. This time, it's magic. Mystical. Wonder Woman setting up Shazam, Blue Beetle, all these elements are referenced here. It's a contained story, but it branches so further than anyone else can think. Another thing I need to talk about is.